Alright, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, Mamsugus Gaming and Infinity War just gave us the official gameplay reveal trailer day alongside a new live action trailer which looks absolutely awesome. And if you guys are excited for Modern Warfare 2, make sure to see for the like button, 15 Call of Duty, make sure to subscribe, turn on notification bell and join the notification squad. Without further ado, let's get around to it. Earlier today, Infinity War ended up dropping a new tweet alongside a live action trailer absolutely out of nowhere, just like an RKO out of nowhere. And if I'm being honest with you guys, they've been dropping a lot of information regarding Modern Warfare 2 out of nowhere like an RKO. And I think they've been actually watching a lot of Randy Orton's matches lately. Okay, okay, my bad. I know that was a terrible joke. <laughs> Anyways, they ended up tweeting saying the ultimate weapon is team, hashtag Modern Warfare 2, worldwide revealed June 8th, 10 a.m. Pacific time. And there it goes, confirming the teaser that we got on the artwork reveal trailer about a week ago of J8, 2022. It is now confirmed to be June 8th, but that wasn't it because we also got a live action campaign teaser video, which was about a minute. And if I'm being honest with you guys, I absolutely love the live action trailers. We used to get them all the time for Call of Duty reveals back then in the golden age. They used to be absolutely, absolutely awesome. I don't understand what they actually stop them in the past couple years but hey as long as we got one right here and it looks absolutely cool but anyways to start off the trailer we get to see the full crew of task force 141 captain price ghost soap gaz and of course the newest addition to task force 141 alejandro we see them inside of what seems like to be an armored truck as soap is reloading his weapon now where exactly are they we are not quite sure but then the camera moves and shows us through the window and we can see they are in some sort of desert alongside a lot of armored trucks with them as explosions and bullets are flying all over the place and if you guys have been keeping up with the leaks regarding the setting of Modern Warfare 2, then seeing them driving through a desert alongside MG mounted trucks makes a lot of sense. And towards the end, we see Task Force 141 leave the truck as they engage in gunfights in the middle of the desert with explosions, helicopters flying above, and absolutely bullets flying all over the place. As it fades to black and shows us the tagline for Modern Warfare 2, the ultimate weapon is steam. Which, if I'm being honest with you guys, that's actually interesting. To be honest with you guys, I am very, very excited seeing the teasers, then the artwork reveal trailer, the release date, and now this live action trailer really really got me excited the only bad thing i can see with this trailer is the fact that it finishes i didn't want this trailer to finish i want to see more i want to see what's gonna happen next and that's when you know the trailer did its job that's what it's supposed to make you feel you want to see more and thankfully we don't have to wait much longer we have less than a week before the official worldwide gameplay reveal trailer drops june 8th 2022 i'm very very excited cannot wait to see what happens this is shaping up to be one of the best call of duty games we've had in recent years but of course we have to be careful we don't get overhyped and then the game turns out to be trash case in point vanguard we have to first see the game play the game and then make our judgment as of now i am hyped but not overhyped just in case the game is disappointing so i won't get too disappointed and actually there are two other cut down versions of this trailer the first one featuring nba atlanta hawks superstar point guard trey young and the other version featuring tim the tatman and both trailers look absolutely awesome Next up, I have a follow-up to a story regarding Modern Warfare 2 that we talked about two or three days ago, and that is the fact that Call of Duty will be returning to Steam, and pretty much we just got confirmation of that story right here today. In case you haven't seen that video, I will leave in the description below for all the details, but basically a couple days ago, Modern Warfare 2 ended up appearing on Steam. Now, of course, you couldn't pre-order or anything like that, it just appeared. Once you clicked on one of the older Call of Duties that are on Steam, and you clicked on Explore the Franchise, and you could see the artwork of Ghost from Modern Warfare 2, and earlier today, once Call of Duty tweeted out saying, the worldwide reveal is happening on june 8th steam's twitter account ended up retweeting that tweet alongside the eyes emoji which pretty much confirms that call of duty is returning to steam as you guys know for the past three years steam had absolutely no interactions when call of duty would reveal their games because as you know the past three games modern warfare 2019 black ops cold war and vanguard were exclusive to battlenet only but now the fact that steam's twitter account ended up interacting with call of duty's reveal tweet that means that call of duty will be returned to steam after three years and that is absolutely absolutely awesome news to hear and as always say make sure i stay tuned to this channel everything regarding call of duty will be right here these upcoming weeks and months are gonna be absolutely absolutely crazy believe me you do not wanna miss anything this is gonna be absolutely crazy but with all that being said thank you guys for watching this video if you are excited for the modern warfare 2 gameplay reveal trailer happening soon make sure to see for the like button for everything call of duty make sure to subscribe turn on notification bell and join notification squad and i'll catch you guys later